As entertainment groups and venues prepare for people to celebrate the holiday season, they may be doing so with smaller gatherings. Tyler Barrow explains. People love these photo booths. They're so popular. Lee Jones, the owner of Saskatoon Party Rentals, knows people will be wanting photos in Santa hats and ugly Christmas sweaters soon. We have a very busy Christmas season ahead of us. In addition to photo booths, his company does cocktail classes, bottle flipping, rents out decor, and accommodates audio and visual needs. Last year, it lost tens of thousands of dollars due to public health restrictions put in place to curb the spread of COVID-19. He's hoping to be jam-packed from the end of November to the end of December, but his company isn't expecting to accommodate any large crowds. I think that people are into smaller parties, uh, not so much corporate, but, um, you know, little, little events. And they're not the only ones seeing the shift this year. The trend seems to be that they're breaking down into smaller departments. Booking groups in for 30 to 50 people. Last year took a beating by not having any parties. For this year, it's expecting four to five parties every weekend from now until mid-January. Christmas parties this year are um, very encouraging. They're, it's looking fairly positive. The all provides meeting rooms for catered dinners and cocktails with no proof of vaccination requirements from them since it is a private event similar to a wedding. CTV News reached out to the Ministry of Health to see if there would be any vaccination requirements for holiday parties and was told guidance on Christmas and New Year's will be announced closer to those dates. For the tourism industry looking to rebound, some feel it wouldn't be a bad idea to impose Pose. When you go into a restaurant or you go into these meetings and uh, you're sitting there with people that you know are double vaccinated, um, th there's a great sense of security. Tyler Barrow, CTV News, Saskatoon.